Hi! In this video, I'm going to be talking about ways moms with young kids can actually practice real self-care, even if you don't have any extra money. These are free ways to practice self-care, and I have, you guys, I'm on social media, like, I see all the moms making these videos about, like, well, I'd love to go out and get my hair done or my nails done, but, like, whoa, privilege. Uh, but there's actually real self-care practices that don't cost any money, and honestly, Self-care should not cost any money. Self-care should be free. And I don't mean like the hairdressers need to give us free haircuts because that is not real self-care. That's like personal hygiene, sure. And that's like nice to get your hair done and feel confident and have self-esteem. And none of those things are bad. None of, none of those things are wrong. But actual self-care is learning how to regulate your nervous system, learning like what your body needs in terms of food and digestion and learning how to truly relax. There's so much pressure put on moms that I think we've kind of forgotten how to truly relax. That's not just numbing our brains with Netflix at the end of the night. So if we haven't met, I'm Michelle. I'm a registered massage therapist and I teach moms with young kids how to not lose their minds while parenting and through le learning how to regulate your nervous system and be like a fun, happy mom instead of rage mom all the time because that is not fun. And we want to build good, strong relationships with our kids um, while we're parenting in these young years. It should be fun. It shouldn't be as hard as it is in this modern day and age. So the ways that you can practice self-care for free, let's go over this. I actually made another video that goes over ways that you can practice self-care uh, that don't take up a lot of time and that you don't necessarily have to leave the house for. You can check out that video here. And for ways that are like actually just free things you can do. <laughs> Number one, go to the library and check out some books that are on a topic that you're interested in right now and try to read before bed instead of looking at your phone before bed or in those moments where you're tempted to just like take out your phone and scroll and look at social media try picking up, picking up a book instead of looking at your phone there are studies that show the damage social media is doing to us and i'm not saying that social media is bad like i love social media i love getting to connect with people that i wouldn't normally ever get to connect with but doing it all day is not good for our mental health and i think you know what i mean when the more you scroll your phone, the more you start to feel like you're not enough, you're not doing enough, you don't know enough, um, you have to buy more things, you have to, like, you compare yourself to these other people and think, like, why do they get to have that life and I don't? And it just really can start to wear you down or you see other people's perfect kids and you're like, why are my kids like that? Uh, so instead of looking at social media like why don't you feed your brain with good positive encouraging things by like learning about a subject that you are really interested in right now another thing that i teach my patients at work is deep diaphragmatic breathing and learning how to breathe properly correctly is really important and it's not something that we are taught uh when you are stressed out like prehistorically you're running from a saber-toothed tiger we breathe short shallow breaths with our scalenes. So these get your scalenes are these muscles here. <laughs> See how they tense up when I take short breaths. What you really want to be doing is like relax your shoulders, relax your chest and breathing fully into your stomach. As you breathe in, imagine your stomach is like a balloon filling up with air. See how my scalenes don't, they don't tense up as much when I breathe into my stomach that way and extend it and like take a long deep breath in and then push it out and shrink your stomach back in as you're pushing out and I like to breathe out through my mouth. So one deep diaphragmatic breath is like and you know people say like oh count to this number or whatever I don't think it really matters as long as it's long and slow and doing that three times is gonna tell your body that you are safe you are not running away from a tiger it's okay to take those deep breaths and you're gonna feel the difference in your like your scalenes and your shoulders and it's gonna tell your body like it's okay it's we're, we're calm, we're relaxing, we're switching over from our sympathetic nervous system, from our fight or flight, over to our rest and digest parasympathetic nervous system. And that is one way you can take care of your body and regulate your nervous system that's totally free. Just doing those deep diaphragmatic breaths 
multiple times a day if you have to in a stressful situation, doesn't matter, just make a habit of it. <laughs> okay, another one is drinking mineralized water. And this one may not necessarily be free because you might have to, you might not have to. I chose to buy a water filter system, water filtration system that alkalizes and remineralizes the water that we drink. So I just pour tap water into it, it filters it through and then we drink it. But it can, I mean, I, should, I shouldn't say free because you still have to buy it, but you can just add salt to your water. If you have sea salt at home, you can just add a little pinch to your water and that is adding minerals to it, to your body. And again, maybe not necessarily free, but if you already have the salt at home, you can just go grab a little bit, put it in your water, and then it's like free for that day. <laughs> um, your body needs minerals in order to function. And a lot of us are very deficient in minerals because when we are stressed, it runs through those minerals faster. And because we live in a culture that is just like, it glorifies stress and we're all striving to achieve things and we're basically in a chronic state of stress, especially if you're parenting young kids, it's stressful. You run through those minerals faster and so you need to replenish them sooner. Um, so that's something that's like really not expensive, really easy to do that can make a big difference on your health. Okay, another one I want to go over is realizing that stressing and worrying isn't in itself actually solving any of your problems. All it's doing is putting your nervous system in a stressed out state of fight or flight because you're, you're thinking about things that are stressful and you're raising your cortisol and your adrenaline and causing inflammation in your body, which long term is not going to give you any benefits. Sitting there and overthinking a situation is not going to solve or fix the situation. Really the best ideas that you can have are going to come from a calm state. Your body does its best or your brain does its best thinking when we're in a calm relaxed state, not in a frantic fight or flight state. So that is something that like nobody can really teach you how to do. You just have to remember like, okay, or realize I'm stressing about this. Stressing about it is actually not gonna solve the situation. It's not gonna make it better. It's not gonna fix it right now. So I am just going to choose to be present in this moment, enjoy this moment, whatever I'm doing, like sitting and playing with my kids because that's gonna do more benefits for me, my health and um, my relationship with my kids rather than worrying and stressing about something that's like happening in the background right now. And the last one I want to go over is absolutely free and it is a term that I heard on social media somewhere and I wish I could remember who it was to credit but they said skies before screens and I love that. So it basically just means like get outside, look at the sky before you pick up your phone and scroll any at any time during the day. I mean, you can like, if you use your phone for an alarm or something, obviously like you can look at your phone, but before you sit and do any sort of like more than one second looking at your phone, try to get outside and look at the sky. We got a dog in the last year and that is something that I took upon myself. Like, okay, I'm going to be the one to let the dog outside in the morning so that and like I have to do that before I look at my phone every day. So I get outside, I take her outside to pee and I look at the sky, whether it's cloudy or not, and just sort of take some deep breaths and be present in the moment and think about like the birds that I can hear and what the grass looks like and what's going on in nature and take a few seconds to do that. And then we go back inside and then I can go about my day and it really just starts my day on a good foot rather than on a stressful note because I've been scrolling social media or thinking about like something that I need to buy and spend money on that I don't have. <laughs> um, or, you know, like getting back inside to deal with my kid's temper tantrum or something. It just puts me in a good headspace rather than an already starting off my day stressed out. Um, it really helps regulate your nervous system, helps you feel calm. That like practice of being present where you are, where your feet are, really regulates your nervous system and helps you to not feel so like frazzled. So just that really simple phrase like skies before screens, totally free, really quick and easy to do, doesn't have to be long. Um, but I think if you do that every single day for like seven days straight and then look back and think about how your week went, that could be a really good thing that you might notice about your week. <laughs> so try it out. Let me know. See if that helps you. 
And if you found this video helpful, feel free to like and subscribe to get more educational uh, videos like this. And also check out the description below for some links to free resources that I've created for you to help you regulate your nervous system as a mom with young kids. And our Facebook group, uh, it's called Kind Culture. It's our community where we help each other out and because like parenting is like it can be really lonely and isolating and I just don't think that it has to be that way and we're going to be going through our um, free challenge for regulating your nervous system so if you want to check that out please do and we'll see you in there